The carnival. You can wear this to a carnival day. <laughs> Happy almost Valentine's Day. Before we dive into this very simple concept of a video, I just want to say one thing about this completely arbitrary day in our calendar. All to say is really, it's just an excuse to guilt your partner into buying you flowers and chocolates. If you are so inclined to dress up for the holiday by dressing the part, whatever that may mean, or if you do happen to have a date and want to take advantage of the fact that everything is dressed in red and pink, then this can serve as your outfit inspiration. Otherwise, this can be just some light entertainment. I don't know, but please don't let this day bring you down. It is just a day that happens to be in February on the 14th of September. So let's just get started. Firstly, wearing pink on Valentine's Day. How original. I know. However, these guys are mom jeans and they are also heavily distressed as you can see. Hello? Okay, cool. Or maybe not because my skin poking through might be the exact same color as the light pink of this pants. All the way from there, I cannot tell. You can tell so but i think these distressed mountains kind of take it up a notch from wearing your average pink cutesy dress which is also super cute by the way but this just gets a little bit more don't touch me i guess these shoes really fit that theme very well there is a wolf on there with blood on its teeth and okay little fun fact they're by the brand iron fist which already sounds kind of needlessly aggressive but then they went ahead and called these the wolf beaters which it's a little bit unsettling to me. Like I understand they wanted to go for the wolf vibe and like the wolf beater fits the theme of the blood, but considering wolves are an animal of prey and you know, as nature happens, sometimes there can be blood and gore in that context. Really, what is this video? Considering that very obvious fact, they went ahead and chose for referencing the assault of an animal. It's just a little bit weird to me. But anyway, no animals were harmed in this process, I think. To continue talking about the actual clothes in this video rather than animal assault. They have some red accents on the heel and the peep toe platform thingy, which tie in. Oh, and the blood, by the way. <laughs> they tie in with the bow that I have in my hair, which again ties in with the bow on the back of these shoes. So it's kind of like a back and forth thingy, you know? Then I paired this red back with it, which ties in the red details from everywhere. And it kind of fits with the theme of I'm wearing pink, but I don't want it to be cute by having a huge school in the front and this gunmetal detail. Kind of cute in a way, but also kind of Again, aggressive. That's for the people who really don't want to make a compromise between being comfortable and looking cute, or if you just really into streetwear. I just paired these booties with this sweat set. I think pairing some black booties with it just uplifts it that little bit that it looks like you're really going somewhere, you know, maybe on a date on Valentine's Day because you are dressed in pink from head to toe. And then this black bag to go with the shoes that makes it look a little more fancy. Obviously you would wear a jacket over this because February is in winter for, well, the northern hemisphere anyway. Ta -da. So this is just like an indoor jacket, so I would wear a winter jacket over this. And I know you're thinking you're still wearing a crop top, crop tank in winter though, but I think most people own sweat sets that have a sweater instead of a tank top and then sweatpants. And obviously that will be warmer and then you could wear a jacket over that and you know, pair it with a little bit of a cute purse. Two outfits in it, you can already really tell. I love the combination of black and pink. Black pink. I think this would work really well for also going to the movies or something because you are so comfortable and you can just crawl up in a big movie chair and like do a little bit of this action. There are some people that say that you cannot wear jeans and sneakers to a date, but I think this is super appropriate and also looks very cute and quite festive and in theme. So for me, this combination with the blue pants and the white lace and the corset like top really gives me this um, sky cloudy, romantic, little baby angel vibe, think Cupid. And it has this renaissance print. It's mostly flowers, but I'm pretty sure there's like an angel floating around somewhere on the back. And then to go with that sky theme, this scrunchie literally looks like a cloud. It's huge. I mean, you could also use it to make like a little, I don't know, baby bun or something. Is this a thing? This is perfect for the people who don't want to go out of their comfort zone and wear a dress, go for jeans and sneakers. So we're going back to a little bit of the color scheme. I feel like it's a little bit the same story as the first outfit where I'm pairing cutesy, roughly romantic thingies with tough accents like the boots and the jacket which has like a moto style and also the same bag, white lace shorts. And then we have the same white top from earlier and then this top over it to kind of give it a little more extra dimension. The nice thing about long sleeves is that you can tuck them out and I really like the little detail of it peeking out from under the jacket. I'm not entirely sure if the black tights go with the white, but you know, I wanted to make it a little bit winter proof. These are not fleece lined, but you obviously could in winter 
and they would look the same. That's the great thing about those fleece lined leggings. And then you're super toasty on the bottom half as well. I have these white frilly socks to keep that white in there and also the white laces on these boots. This dress got a little bit too big for me ever since I got it. So I put some safety pins on my bra to keep it up, but one keeps getting loose all the time. So I can't really move too much if I come across awkward. That's why. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm wearing a literal bouquet of roses around my waist. How cute, right? Anyway, so this is a dress. Ah, it came undone! Okay, I don't know if this one can be salvaged. Honestly, I'm just gonna use a new one. For Valentine's Day, I really feel like it hits the nail on the head. When you don't feel too comfortable of pairing a dress with a pair of heels, then you know, you might as well just wear your docks with it. I feel like this really shows that you would have a sense of humor when it comes to dressing yourself. It almost looks a bit ironic, I think. And because there are so grungy and black accents in there, I feel like you can get away with wearing tights underneath this dress. Also, they're more comfortable than wearing your average high heels. Obviously, there's people who are not gonna go anywhere. There's absolutely no pressure to go so Well, there is pressure, but like, don't listen to it. So. If you feel like just staying inside and having a nice night or day with yourself, binging some Netflix and just devouring a bag of chips and an entire roll of cookies and I'm looking at one now and I'm very tempted. You know, I could just eat one. Bring the vision alive. I might do that. Okay, cool. If you have plans and those plans consist of staying home and just binging a bu bunch of, I don't know, poorly constructed Hollywood movies or just maybe watching something that really makes you feel good and looking forward to things in life and like I don't know so as you can see I'm wearing pajama pants and they have little popcorns on them a little faces it doesn't get cuter than this I think this is my favorite outfit out of all of them it has this slouch factor right I'm wearing a big old oversized t-shirt featuring some more depictions of death and nature I'm just, I'm feeling very free and like casual and just very, very in my comfort zone, I suppose. I paired these um, burgundy over knee socks with it that kind of fuse into the shoes because they are also a burgundy color. And then you have a little heel that's very comfortable, but also again, lifts up the outfit like with any heel booties, they do that. I also really just like the combination of burgundy and lilac. I think it's because they have the same underlying colors, you know, the, the red and uh, I don't know, it just gives the perfect laid back, casual, but dressed up look, but so much different than the second outfit, I swear. But same story with the ripped jeans, you can wear some skin color tights underneath. And again, fleece lined, it will be super toasty. Oh yeah, and then I paired some biker shorts underneath because, well, warms and like flash protection. <laughs> so, I mean, oh, bag. So go with this casual, can you not? And then to go with this casual look, I would wear it with a little casual backpack of the same color that is the shoes and the socks. But then it also, I don't know, it just looks cute. I like backpacks, what can I say? Considering that I didn't really do many actual fancy outfits, like they all had some kind of toned down twist to them, I thought I'd go for a full black look and I'm going all out or something. Although not really all out because black is a pretty toned down color and I don't know, it's a color a lot of people feel comfortable in including me. This is my version of an all black kind of fancy heels and dress outfit. But, okay, I feel like with everything I say there is a but because there is something else to it, but but this is not actually a dress, it's more like a tunic. As you can see, it comes like right at my hip bone if I put my hands in the air, which sometimes life calls for that. Hence me wearing bike shorts underneath. I do like that accent underneath the dress tunic thing because, you know, the shorts kind of make it look a little more I don't know, boyish or something. And then I'm wearing tights and very funky socks. I don't know if you can see it from there, but they are sparkly. There's all kinds of colors coming from the lights. And then I just paired a simple black shoulder bag with it. It adds a bit to the, okay, I'm taking this serious. I'm going on a date and I'm wearing heels and a dress, sort of, and shorts. <laughs> but then I had to put an extra ns to the outfit just because I like doing that. So on the back of the legs, there is this like, uh, well, you have eyes. So it's another way of throwing in people's faces that it is Valentine's Day. Other than wearing red or a bouquet of roses around your waist, you can also just wear love subtly along the legs. Next up, an outfit that again doesn't really fulfill the pink and red Valentine's Day color scheme, but that I do think fits the vibe. Again, I'm wearing some kind of corset type top, but also this jacket. It has these um, ruffles along the sides. 
I forgot to put shoes on. <laughs> that are reminiscent of like the Victorian era. Also this corset kind of goes with that. The lady's wearing like a hat and a big old dress and I don't know. It looks like she's being courted, which again, very appropriate for a day where people go out on dates. And these shoes really fit with that as well because they are definitely very Victorian. And yeah, I'm wearing black pants. It's a bit harsh, but I feel like it's a nice base for all the neutral colors. And also the shape of these pants, the fact that they kind of flare out is a very feminine cut. And that also adds to the feminine kind of romantic atmosphere of this outfit. This bag to go with it, it's very old, just like what this outfit looks like. Not in a bad way though. Perfect for taking a stroll around a nice garden or sitting down somewhere having a coffee. That was all the outfits. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some inspiration. If you did, please leave it in the comments so I know and it's nice to know. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.